Hi there folks! This video tutorial is about how to get a set of course of Composizione by QNOS Simulations running smoothly but also looking great in VR. Now a set of course of Composizione is notoriously difficult to get running well in VR uh, especially if you're on a low-end machine <coughs> And also, even if you're on a high-end supercomputer with a 3080 card and an i7, i9 processor, uh, even the Epic preset um, has its issues. The good news for all of you is that what I'm going to show you here is how to, uh, whether you're on a low-end machine or a high-end machine, I'm going to aim to eliminate the problem of floating cars where the shadows don't quite meet the tires, um, not being able to race with a decent field of cars, uh, windows of cars and bits of cars popping in and out of existence and uh, bits around the track popping in and out of existence and also running at a decent resolution. So now this video is for you if you can run the game just fine on the VR low preset but it looks terrible. You can run it on the VR high preset but it still looks terrible and also maybe your frame rates are slowing down a bit and running on VR Epic just crashes your system. It's also for you if you can run it at Epic but you're still finding the graphics rubbish. Okay, so using this first video is going to be focused on the low end users. Um, so we're going to look at the VR low preset now and this is going to be our basis. So on the VR low preset, a few important things. Your resolution scale is 70%. Your opponent visibility is at 10%. And by the way, to do this, for testing this, I would recommend, as well as only having 10 cars visible, I would also only have 10 cars on track when you set up the race, i.e. 9 AI and yourself. Um, because even if you only have 10 cars visible, if you've got, say, 30 cars on track, that's going to put a strain on your processor, not your graphics card, because the game is still computing the physics for those cars. So keep the amount of cars as the same visible. Um, now down here on VR pixel density, you'll notice that on VR low, that is set at 100. Um, by the way, also, this is going to eliminate the immersion killing aspect of when you're driving along in any of these presets, you're driving along, maybe everything's just fluid and fine, but your mirror, when you look in your mirrors, it's at a stuttery slow frame rate. It's going to eliminate that as well. So, to keep things simple, that's your VR low preset. Your VR high preset, you'll notice that those three things I've just mentioned, resolution scale has gone up by 10% to 80. Your opponent visibility is now at 16 cars and your VR pixel density is at 120. On your VR epic preset, you're at 90% on the resolution scale. You're at 32 visible cars and you're at 140 VR pixel density. Um, the maximum amount of cars I'm going to use in any of these examples is going to be 30. That's 29 AI and you, okay? Right, so first things first, make yourself a custom preset. So you come over here in your video options to custom preset. Now, all you have to do is copy these settings down exactly exactly and you're going to look at some of these settings and think well no that's completely mad surely that's going to be worse you're going to look at say here i've got resolution scale set at 60 yeah i know there's a reason and then you're going to look at shadows which are epic and think that's not going to run um, there's going to be lots of things that are going to seem counterintuitive especially when you get down to here things like image customization you're going to think well why are there things changed there that's just customizing the image surely that's not affecting performance Trust me, there's a reason for everything. And if you copy down half of these settings, but you decide, well, I don't like that, I'm going to change this and change that, and it doesn't work, please don't blame me, because in this game engine, changing one little thing in the graphics presets seems to have a knock-on effect to something else, and it can be the difference between your frame rates, stutter, 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 and smoothly, smoothly, smoothly. Okay? So... First of all, I'm going to scroll through this very slowly. You can pause the video at any point so you can jot these down and then you can make your custom preset. So all of those settings, I'm just going to slow, scroll through them slowly. 
You'll notice the mirror view distance there is at 70 meters. Um, because you'll notice on the on the VR low preset, you're only at 20 meters. So cars literally disappear when they're not very far behind you in your mirrors. It's going to eliminate that for all users. And in the second video, I'm going to explain why these settings work and how they're going to enable you to enable better graphics going forward. And there'll be some information in there for the Epic users as well on those big powerful computers. So copy all of those down. Even this down here, you're going to see tone mapping changed from, it's usually on ACES, that's changed to default. You're going to see image contrast at 65 rather than a default of 50. You're going to think why? Just copy those down. Right, now that you've done that, I want you to load up your game and I want you to select 10 opponents, or, or sorry, nine opponents and yourself, so 10 cars, and I want you to go to Donington Park. Now, there is a very, very good reason that the testing for this needs to be done at Donington Park, and the reason for that is when you start at Donington Park, immediately you have two hairpins. You've got Melbourne and Goddard's. That's very important because hairpins are the best way to check if your graphics or if your if your frame rates are smooth because when you're driving along in a straight line things are rushing past and everything seems smooth that's brilliant but when you turn a corner especially a hairpin at a decent speed or as high as you can take a hairpin that's when you're going to see your frame rate sl that shut slow down because the whole world and in a racing sim you can see quite far into the distance at a place like Donington the whole wor world shift around and that will let you know if, if you're stuttering or not. So, you're going to notice that on this preset, the resolution is going to look rubbish. Now, don't worry. So, go to Donington. Start off with your VR pixel density. I've told you to copy these down exactly. But this VR pixel density here, start that at 100. Okay? Now, you should be running smoothly at 100, no problems. Especially if your computer can run with the... VR preset of high, but it's maybe a bit slow. You should be fine at 100. Now, what I want you to do is step this up at 5% increments, okay? So you go from VR 100 to VR 105. Try that. Go around the two hairpins. If everything's still running smoothly, step up to 110. Go around the two hairpins. Everything's still run running smoothly. Restart the race. Step it up by another five again. And you should be able to make it to 140. Now, if you get close to 140, or at any point during this process, if you're running fine at, say, 120, and then you step up to 125, and as soon as you press that apply button, each time you step it up, by the way, press the apply button. If you are at 120, you step up to 125, and then press apply, and then suddenly your screen freaks out, Everything becomes a bit of a stutter fest. You've got lines going up and down the screen. Don't worry. You may have think, okay, I've reached the limit of my resolution or, or you know the, the limits of my graphics card. You may have done, but also you may not have because the Unreal Engine, um, think of it as a belligerent child, okay? So you're asking the child to do something. You know full well the child can do it. The child knows full well they can do it, but they're being a bit difficult and belligerent and bad tempered. And they go, no, nah, I don't want to. Right. So if that happens, you've already applied the settings. Exit out of the game. Press back. Exit out of the game. If you can't exit out of the game, use control, alt, delete and end task. And then reboot. Because sometimes the graphic settings in this sim, this game, need a little bit of setting in a bit like uh bedding in rather a bit like a car you know take it easy for the first twenty thousand miles know what i mean the likelihood is with that five percent increase you're going to boot back into the game and it might be running smoothly again okay which means you haven't got to the end of your you you haven't reached your 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 graphics card or your system's end capabilities however if you boot back in and it's still stuttering like that then then you have 
and it's not just the game engine being difficult. So then what you need to do is just go straight, without going to the track, go straight to options, go to video and knock that back down by 5% to where it was working. But anyway, you should now be able to get to 140. And now if that's all running smoothly, go out on track and what you're gonna find is, you're gonna have shadows under all of your cars. You're not gonna have bits of cars popping in and out of existence. And you'll notice that the car LOD quality on this graphics preset is at 85. That's higher than it is on Epic, okay? And you might think, well, surely that would slow down performance. The reason this works is because of all of the other settings. Anyway, try that. And then, and only then, when you've got that 140 and everything is, you should have a reasonable resolution now a reasonable resolution only then do you start now increasing the resolution scale by five percent increments so you start off at 60 go to 65 go to 70 but leave that alone leave that at 140 and remember the same thing as with the resolution scale as you increase this you might do a five percent incre increment press apply and everything might turn stuttery. Reboot the game. If you boot back and everything's smooth again, you're okay, and you can leave it at that setting, but I wouldn't push it any further. Um, however, if it is still stuttering, knock it back down by 5%. Okay, so that's been the quick and easy part of the tutorial. Uh, this is for you guys who haven't got a lot of time. Just copy those settings down, try that. I hope it helps. I'm not a wizard, so if it doesn't, I'm sorry. Um, and like I said, if your computer struggles to run the game even on VR low, you need to update your hardware. Um, you know, that's uh, I can't help you there. Anyway, what you should have now is shadows under your car, reasonable resolution, and things not popping up in the distance, trees, that kind of thing. And also, you should be able to take your car and those nine other AI to any track in any conditions, in the rain, on a sunny day or in the evening when there's shadows or at night okay as I said in the second part of the tutorial which is going to be a lot longer I'm going to go into more detail about how these settings work and why they work and then I'm going to up the settings quite a bit and we're going to go into what you can do if you're using a high-end computer by the way just one little thing if all of this is working for you and say you've got to maybe 70 percent on the resolution scale and you're at 140 on your pixel density and everything's running nice and smoothly to make things look instantly better and again this is this is going to be one of those settings that you might change and it might slow you down or it might be fine take your post processing and up that to mid just to mid Anyway, I'll leave that with you. Subscribe to the channel if you want to get updates for the second part of the video. I hope this helps you. Happy sim racing.